two questions. So in Image Creator for Microsoft, how exactly do I create an image and how do I customize it? The answer to the first question is here. Click on this link right here and I have an in-depth tutorial of how of how to use the software. Now, how do we customize it? Okay. So what we'll do is we'll open up designer.microsoft.com and that pulls up our designer, which is this layout right here. We'll start over from the top left. This right here is our hamburger menu. Okay, so we click on this and it shows us our latest creations. This is our home page right here. Click on that if we want to go back to the home page. And across the top, we have a button for a new design. Here's our download button. And here is a send Microsoft feedback button. So go ahead and let them know how much you appreciate the software. And this right here is our profile link there. Now we'll go back to the left hand side and drop down to the next area here. And this is our templates. So we have our templates and basically I would use the templates for getting started. OK, so my media tab is probably the tab you're going to be using the most often because it allows you to upload from your computer, from your phone, Google Drive, Dropbox, Google Photos, etc. And there you have it right here in this area. It also has a generate button so you can generate some extra content if you like. Photos right here. You can pull in photos to add to your artwork, the graphics, and videos. This right here is the text section. So you can add text, of course. And down here is your branding kit. All right. So if we clicked on this photo here, it will bring up this little little bar here and on this bar we have replace remove background crop tool image tools quick select set as background we have a position tab and an opacity tab okay so let's go ahead and remove a background here we have two ways we can do this we can either remove the background with this button let's do it real quick and that is gone just that quick OK, so let's go ahead and undo that. And we also have the second way, which is our quick select. We hit click uh, quick select and now we can kind of choose what parts we want to take out of the photo. OK, so let's remove the background here, but let's go ahead and add some more as well. So what we'll do is we'll hold down shift, make sure that whatever we wanted to select is highlighted here. We'll hold down shift again and probably the tail there we go and let's click on remove object gone okay so it missed some pieces here but that's okay we'll go in and make sure it's gone here click on that there we go remove object should be gone there we go now that is a nice clean cut and only thing you'd have to do, of course, if you wanted to leave it white background, that's fine. But if you wanted to add a background to it, you could do that as well. So you would just step over here to visuals, click on photos or graphics and pull something over. And you are absolutely ready to go. OK, so let's try another one real quick. Click down here where we can make pages and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So let's just say with this photo, we wanted to add a blur to the background. So what we'll do, we'll punch in on the photo here, click that, and then let's hit blur background. You see how I blurred it up a little bit. Okay, let's uh, undo that and show you again. Press undo. Now let's blur the background. There we go. It's just that simple. That is nice. So now let's try a filter here. Let's add a filter to that. Have several filters here. How about lo-fi or lively? Let's do lively. Change the color entirely. Looks nice. And how about warm maybe? Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. So let's just say we're done with those photos and we wanted to add another photo. Only thing we have to do is go down here to our pages area here and click on add a page. 
Once that is done, add whatever you like to add. Like, let's say if we wanted to put this one on. This is actually pretty cool. Let's try. Uh, let's try to blur the background on this one as well. There you have it. So that's it. A quick and easy way to remove or customize your photos in Microsoft Designer. Okay, I think that'll do it for this one. And like always, until next time, I'll see you in the next video.